الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أن أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله يا سيدنا الله في أخير الإسلام يثنك الله سبحانه وتعالى من الله سبحانه وتعالى accept all our عبادات and forgive us all our shortcomings Uh, today we are going to discuss about very important issue that is Quran chapter 46 verse 29 Surah Al-Ahqaf chapter 46 verse 29 Surah Al-Ahqaf and it is nothing more than that of the jinn the dawah of the jinn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَإِذْ عَرَفْنَا إِلَيْكَ نَفْرًا مِنَ الْجِنِّ يَسْتَمِعُونَ الْقُرْآنَ فَلَمَّا حَضَرُوا قَالُوا أَنْصِتُوا فَلَمَّا قُضِيَ وَلَّوْا إِلَى قَوْمِهِمْ مُنْذِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Indeed We sent the jinns, the group of jinns to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam يَسْتَمِعُونَ الْقُرْآنَ to listen to the Quran, subhanAllah. The jinns, a group of them who were sent when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was reciting the Holy Quran. That is the time when he went to, he went to Ta'if. Um, they pelted him with stones and other things and so forth. And then there was a garden, date palm, in the night, he was reciting the Holy Quran, performing Salah, praying. And these jinns, they were being sent onto that particular place. How did they go to the place? Because they found that what makes them to go up? Before they used to go up, they stand on one another until they reach the first sky. So you can see the amount of them in order to reach the first sky. And they will be there, they listen, because when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives any kind of commandment, Jibreel will send it to the sky that comes below it, and it comes on that Allah had said this and that, it comes on like that, until it will reach to our sky. And when this jinn, the first one, hears that commandment, he will pass it on to the one who is below him. And the one who below him will pass it on, and will pass it on until to the one who is standing on the earth. When it reached that one, they will take it and go and give it to the magicians, the sorcerers, and so on and so forth. That look, this such and such thing is going to happen. And the professor said, they will add 99 lies, falsehood unto it. But the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had said, it will come true. So when that one comes true, people will believe in all the other 99. But since Prophet ﷺ was appointed as Prophet, they could not go up there again. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the stars become the shooting stars, missiles. So whenever they go up, the star will automatically come and destroy them. So, so sometimes you see a lot of shooting stars. Have you ever seen a shooting star before? Yes. Huh? Yes. 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 Good. That means these devils, 
they want to go up to here. And these shooting stars will come and strike them. SubhanAllah and the Lord of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. So when they were working, they wanted to see what had been on this earth that's the preventing them from going up there. Until some the group that passed by Pa'if, they heard Prophet Wasallam reciting Quran while he was performing Salat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, فَلَمَّا حَضَرُوهُ قَالُوا أَنْسِتُوا When they reached by the side where Prophet Wasallam was reciting the Holy Quran, they said to one another, be very quiet and listen. Look, subhanAllah. The Jews telling one another to be quiet and listen. And we as Muslims, who we say we believe in the Holy Quran, when the Quran is being recited, you do not listen. You just talk. You just talk. Then, فَلَمَّا كُتِيَ وَلَّوْ إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِمْ أُنْذِرِينَ But when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi finished praying with everything, they went back to their people as preachers. They, are going, they gave dawah to their people. Look, what did they say? قَالُوا يَا قَوْمَنَا Say, O oh, our people, إِنَّا سَمِعْنَا كِتَابًا We have heard the recitation of a book, Unzila Min Ba'di Musa, which was read after Prophet Musa alayhi salam. Okay? So there could be a possibility that those, those jinns, they knew about Prophet Musa alayhi salam, either they believe in him or not. <coughs> but they knew about Prophet Musa alayhi salam. He said, this book that had been sent, which is the Holy Quran, it came to confirm what was revealed in the Torah which was given to Musa alayhi salam. As yahdi in al it guides people to what is the truth. And to the straight path. So, if you want any kind of truth, where are you going to find it? In the Holy Quran. You want the straight path? Where are you going to find that direction from the Holy Quran? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, Wa ila tariqin mustaqim. This Quran it guides mankind to the straight path. So say, Ya Qawmana, O our people, Ajibu da'i Allah. Respond to the color of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa aminu bih. And believe in him. Why? He said, Ya fillu lakum min zunubikum. Your sins that had been committed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will wipe them off for you. Wa yajurukum min azabin alim. And he will protect you and save you from the severe punishment. So they went and giving dawah to their people. How many times do we give dawah to our own people? So this is something which is very, very important for us to know that if you know something, even one eye, you should also give it to your people. Okay? And let them learn about it. Especially in this month of Ramadan. And then you have just a few more days for the last 10 days of the month of Ramadan. May Allah accept our deeds for us. And therefore, we should try to do something which is good. Unite. You know, once there was a child and his father, and the father was cutting. He took his scissors and he was cutting, uh, you know, the material. So he cut it. When he finished, very important to understand, he threw it on the floor. He threw the scissors on the floor. 
And then he used the needle to fix it. When he finished, he put a needle on the turban that he was wearing. So the child was so surprised. He said, Dad, how come that? The scissors, which is so expensive, huh? you throw it on the floor. And this, what? Needle, which is, that you put it inside your, this, your turban, on top of it. He said, yes. He said, because the scissors cut what? It flows into pieces. But it was the needle that came to do it. Join together. So he said, my son, be a needle, but do not be what? Scissors. Yes. That means be someone who make people come together, night and so forth, but do not be like the one who comes to do it. So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you. Okay. So this is so important that you have to bear in mind. It is like the child standing in front of the door and the rubbish man came. He said they called him a rubbish man. He came. He went inside. He said that. He said, yes. he said look, rubbish man has come to come and collect it. He said, hey, are you sure? He said, rubbish man? He said, yes. He said, no, my son. He is not a rubbish man. He is the cleaner. But we are the rubbish men. We are the ones who make the rubbish. But he comes to do it. To clean it. So don't call him what? <laughs> rubbish man. <laughs> <laughs>